think he's gonna kick my butt! Hi there, young people. A nice day today. So, you like kicking butts, do ya? Well, we'll show you, old man! There he is! Go get him! It seems as time goes on, these businesses are getting more and more greedy. There is never such a thing as enough money, and we are merely cattle that they will milk for each and every penny. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the free internet. Well, more or less free. I'm not talking about the service costs from your ISP or internet service provider. I'm talking specifically about 100% totally accessible internet here. I'm talking about the freedom of information. What's up guys, it's Nerico here, back at it again with yet another problem. Net neutrality. Freedom of access, if you will. It'll make more sense if I define it for you. So, net neutrality is the principle that individuals should be free to access all content and applications equally, regardless of the source, while internet service providers discriminate against specific online services or websites. In other words, is the principle that the company that connects you to the internet does not get in control of what you do on the internet. If you want to use your internet service to look up cringe porn, then by all means you have the ability to do that. Do what makes you happy, man. I'm not judging here. The FCC wants to take that away. Not cringe porn, but the ability to access what you want when you want. It's a big problem, and if you're not taking it seriously, then it could have devastating impacts. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I originally wasn't going to do a video on this until I decided to take a more detailed look into the issue. And as you can see, internet service providers, or ISPs for short, have been trying to get rid of net neutrality for some time now. This isn't the first battle, and it definitely won't be the last. Now, there is this magical man, the FCC chairman, Ajit Pai. He's a hated man, and there's reason for it. He joined the FCC back in 2012 under the appointment of President Barack Obama, and now he's using his influence position and power to overturn the policies of net neutrality, calling it the Internet Freedom Act. So if you guys are woke, if you guys stay woke, um, the Internet Freedom Act is doing exactly the opposite of that. It's kind of like the Patriot Act, which kind of isn't very patriotic at all. But anyways, I digress. Let's not get too detailed into politics here. Let's go back to it. There's been countless memes made in the dishonor to Mr. Pie, and he just doesn't care. If he had one redeeming quality that I wish I had, that he has, it's just the general disconcern that he has for people. Like, let's be real here. This guy does not give a fuck. Like, he really doesn't. People have threatened him, they threatened his family, even his neighbors, and he has a genuine disconcern about the issues. Like, he just really doesn't care. He couldn't care less, actually. This guy is a real OG gangster, if I had to be honest. So, what is Ajit Pai actually proposing? He's proposing what he calls a light framework to work in conjunction with some of the rules that already exist with net neutrality. What he means by this is that he actually just kind of wants to roll them back. He wants to roll back to a time before we actually had those rules in place. He wants to allow ISPs to determine what happens to the bandwidth allocations and thus free up investment capital to allow ISPs to innovate. And that sounds really good, right? Wrong. Of your rock. Wrong. As we all have seen, giving more power to larger corporations will not help the consumer. Even AT&T was given a free stint of tax-free years, 10 years tax-free that they were meant to use to increase infrastructure and bolster internet speeds for their consumers. Well, this didn't happen at all. As you can see, AT&T is still using lackluster DSL and copper connections for their internet connections because they don't care. They obviously do not care. They will go without paying taxes. They will get government incentives and still not care because they're a corporation at the end and it, may, it just makes more sense for them to worry about making money. They're like EA, but only in control of your internet. Other ISPs like Comcast, Verizon, Time Warner, I'm not even sure if Time Warner's an ISP. It doesn't really matter though. The other ISPs only want one thing out of anything, and that is more money. They're not interested in spending more money. They do not want to change their infrastructure. They only want to charge more money. We'll talk more about this later. Basically, all you need to know is that on December 14th of this year, 2017, there will be a vote to decide whether or not these light framework changes will take place. So why should you be concerned about net neutrality? Well, if you're a gamer for one, which you probably are, that's probably why you watch my channel, you probably play online games. Without net neutrality, ISPs will be able to charge more money 
a premium, if you will, for people who are power users. So basically people who want to either torrent, stream movies online, play online games, or just use more bandwidth than what is considered moderate usage will be charged more for those connections. So if you play World of Warcraft, you're fucked. If you play Titanfall, you're fucked. If you play Overwatch, you're fucked. If you play anything at all that is online game because it's going to take up more bandwidth, you're basically fucked. Hi. We're your local high-speed internet and cable provider. Are you looking for a fast, reliable internet connection? A large selection of your favorite HDTV channels? With 24-7 access to the best customer support technicians? All at a fair price? Fuck you. You'll take what we give you. And that's just simply because they can charge you a premium fee for using more bandwidth. And this has definitely been overturned previously with the current rules that we have in net neutrality. You cannot charge more for usage of more bandwidth because internet, like we all know, is not a scarce resource. It, there is no limit to how much bandwidth is available. The lines are already put down on the ground. And so as a result, you can get access to internet. They want to classify internet usage as a utility, as if it was a finite resource, such as electric, gas, anything like that they're trying to gasoline even they're trying to put it in the same boundaries of those utilities so they can charge more money for it, as if there's a finite amount of it for some reason and there's not sure bandwidth does have an overload point where it can bog down and get slow because there's too many people accessing the internet one time but the remedy to this is to make more internet lines it's not to increase the power it doesn't cost them any more money it just takes them more time and they don't want to do that so what is considered moderate usage okay so they can play around with the verbiage and with the language a little bit here but basically what they consider moderate usage or light usage of the internet would be pretty much someone who is solely using the internet for checking email maybe even facebook things like that if you're doing any more than that this could result in higher bills for sites like netflix hulu youtube even because youtube uses a, a significant amount of bandwidth if you stream at 1080p 60 fps so even if you're on twitch maybe you're a twitch streamer this could affect you too the issue is here is that you're probably thinking, well, then rolling back net neutrality wouldn't affect me. Companies like Netflix will have to eat that bill or companies like Hulu or YouTube or Twitch or whoever, whoever the servers are, they're going to have to eat that bill. Well, no, not exactly. Typically what happens is as prices raise and things get more expensive, companies then pass those costs off to the consumer. So Netflix will be more expensive. Hulu will be more expensive and general access to YouTube would be more expensive. So you might see YouTube adapt a more premium strategy, even more aggressive than YouTube Red. Maybe you'll see more ads on videos, things like that to kind of offset that. So it is going to affect every single person involved. It affects everyone. If you torrent like I do, ISPs can go in there and completely block off access to torrent sites. And I'm not saying anything by, it, you know, like you like I'm not implying that you should or shouldn't torrent. But hey, you know, if you own those files and you wanted to get a backup of those files, then yeah, you know, go ahead and torrent. But what the ISPs don't want you to know is that they want to completely block access to those sites because they can have an investment or interest in blocking content from people to get for free. Okay, well, whatever. Let's say you do that, okay? Let's say you play online games. You're definitely gonna see a fee or a bundle for more data. Could you imagine if we all had data caps on our home internet service? If internet was regulated like a utility? You could go ahead and then say goodbye to your sub $100 internet bill and say hello to hella data overages for the internet. Sounds great, huh? On a more nefarious side of things, ISPs could then use their newfound power to promote other companies that they own. Similar to how Verizon grants unlimited data access to their video service Go90, Comcast could then allow unlimited data to sites like NBC. This would then grant higher ratings and more views to their programs. This only furthers the control that they have over media and money in their pockets. Call me a conspiracy theorist if you want, but I know that this would be inevitable one day. A media super corporation that hates small news and freedom of information sites like Reddit is just on the horizon. And you guys can definitely quote me on this. I don't, I'm no, I'm not gonna be wrong here. If net neutrality is overturned, we're gonna see a media rebound like we've never seen before. Media polarizes the country. It polarizes people's views on things. The media is biased and they're gonna use that opportunity to slam their idea and their vision of what you need to see and the way that they control the flow of information on your daily life. So yeah, we consider YouTube biased. We consider YouTube you know, restricting of information, but could you imagine if it was worse? 
Could you imagine that if YouTube became this super SJW safe haven, only promoting leftist ideas and ideologies? That's going to be insane if we see this happen. They have done this in the past before and they will only abuse their power. Think about the times like mega corporations like Google blocked access to certain search results or throttled search results or hid certain search results. Think about how YouTube is operated under the vise of Google. What would they then do? If you think about it for a second, you will realize that they will use this opportunity to push a political agenda. If you don't think it's possible, then I advise you to think again. I didn't want to touch on this too long. However, I did see an article that had this title. Why concerns about net neutrality are overblown. That's by the New York Times and written by Ken Engelhart. He says this, so why am I not worried? I worked for a telecommunications company for 25 years and whatever one may think about corporate control of the internet, I know that it's simply not in service providers interest to throttle access to what consumers want to see. Natural broadband access is a cash cow. Why would they kill it? I cannot believe that you were this stupid, Ken Englehart. Or maybe you're not stupid. Maybe you think that everyone who's reading your content is that stupid. Let's go ahead and do some research on you, okay? So it looks like you are a lawyer. It looks like you're from Canada. So you're not even from this country, dude. You're not even from this country. Stay in your lane, my guy. Stay in your lane. Get out of here, man. I'm pissed off that you even think. Ugh. Okay, so you work for Strategy Corp, which is a communications company, okay? So maybe you're just a corporate shield, dude. Maybe you're just trying to push the agenda of communications companies to further the control that they already have over the freedom of information. Maybe you don't like people having separate opinions. Maybe you don't like people being woke. <laughs> Maybe you, you, dude, you're just an idiot, dude. You probably live this average lifestyle with an average wife. You probably have two kids. You have probably have a small dick, you know? So you, this is your way of getting back at the world for you having a less than sufficient lifestyle. Maybe you're not happy with your life, so you want to make everyone else unhappy with their life. Maybe they're going to pay you a bunch of money so you can go and buy a car to, you know, get through your midlife crisis and show your, you know, you know you're a lawyer. So you probably actually don't even need a nice car. You probably already drive a nice car, which you're probably already overcompensating for in some way, shape or form. You are a corporate shield and this is nothing more than you misleading people to push the agenda that communications companies, solely ISPs, have in their invested interest in net neutrality. You are so stupid. Please, no one believe this guy. No one believe this guy. The New York Times is probably banking on banning the freedom of internet and, and repealing net neutrality so then they can have people spend more time reading their newspapers, make themselves relevant again. I have no idea. I don't want to get too much into conspiracies, but you gotta, you gotta believe me when I tell you that every major news corporation out there is going to be controlled by some type of TCOM communications co company in order to further their political agenda. We don't need this here. We already have issues enough in this, in this country and now you wanna restrict where we can all get free information, where we can get a free flow of access to the internet. You wanna get rid of that? You guys might be wondering right about now how you could help or maybe make a difference. And this is definitely not a promotion to say, hey, go and do this. But you know, if you guys wanna get involved, you can help us by not taking this ass whoop and laying down, if you know what I mean. We will stand by and not let the government, the FCC and internet service providers butt rape us while we say thanks, guys. It's not time for this. You can get involved today. Go ahead and sign the petition, that link in the description below, and let your voice be heard. Go ahead and curse out a G Pie, curse out the FCC, curse Donald Trump. I don't care what you have to do, but make sure that people understand that you do not support repealing net neutrality. That's what that, it's in the name internet neutrality they want to make it an even playing ground for everyone to have access to their websites we have prevented this from happening before and i think we need to stand up yet again and be heard so now is the time many of us don't have a choice as to who our internet service provider is government regulation and lobbyists have destroyed our choice of freedom in many districts nationwide I believe that this is important for us to understand the gravity of the situation that we are in right now. If we give them an inch, they'll give us all nine, if you know what I mean. It's time to take a stand. Express your right for a free, clean, regulation-free internet. No more control by ISPs. No more control by the FCC. We need to have freedom. Jesus, that got a little bit more patriotic than what I wanted, but yeah. That's it for me, guys. Remember to gently tongue punch that like button as always. And if you're new here, subscribe because I make new content each and every single week. But yeah, with that said, I'm Neraku, and I will see each and every one of you weird AF mofos in the next video. Peace. Oh yeah, PSS if I can. I meant to tell you guys that I am almost at 
10,000 channel views. So thank you guys so very much for that. Um, when that does happen and my channel does reach monetization, if you guys could do me a huge, huge favor by watching the ads on my channel, it's not to, like not to give you money, but it's more so to promote the channel. If people see that people are regularly watching ads on my channel, then you know lo and behold i will get more ads and my channel will get more promotion which will give me more growth etc etc so yeah if you guys want to help me out in that way make sure you watch the ads that are going to appear on my channel that's going to be awesome and drop a like if you guys want to see more peace